Nah, so we are in the hot seat. Hot Ooh, seat. Ooh, my guy, Eric <laughs> Harris. How you doing, first and foremost, man? I'm doing wonderful. How I you? think I'm, I'm thinking that now people come onto the hot seat and they kind of a little nervous about what I'm going to say, but this is strictly professional, brother. Professional. Professional. So, Eric, you've had an amazing story to get here to be our leader, our fearless leader. We love E. Harris, man, having faith. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, for the audience at home that doesn't know, tell us a little bit about your journey, your, your football career journey. Appreciate it, man, first of all. Um, you it's know, a tearjerker. <laughs> coming out of college, I didn't get any looks. Pretty much, long story short, short I worked at Potato Chip Factory, um, went back to school to finish out my degree, got a part-time job at UPS, working night shift, became a manager yes. there. Uh, springtime came around. I got an opportunity to go up to uh, Buffalo, New York, work out for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, paid $80. 80? Um, they called me two days later, offered me a contract, signed it, minimum, no agent, no nothing. Mm. Then I, I don't even think I looked at the language in it. I just signed it. <laughs> um, so anyways, graduated. I didn't walk. I went to go home, spend a week with my family, went up to training camp, made the team. Played there for three years. Got my first uh, NFL stint with the uh, New Orleans Saints. Yeah. Don't want to say that too loud around here. Uh, mm -hmm. In 2016, I like that. tore my ACL after three games. Came back, got released was with the Raiders for four years, and now I'm here. Dang, dang! I just want. I mean, I really highlight. We have a lot of fun on here, but I just highlight the fact that, like, ultimately we're people, and you know, one of the things that I think about when it comes to being a quote unquote successful individual because a lot of people look at you and think you're successful i don't i think that you're you know you're you're struggling right like mm -hmm. when i look at you i'm like damn like i kind of hope i don't end up like this guy but for most people they would think you're successful right mm -hmm. and i think it's really important to highlight the mindset that mm -hmm. you have in all seriousness like the mindset to grind and keep pushing and make it work and i know that from there you've developed a, a, a phrase or a mantra, having faith. Yeah. Can you talk to us about where that came from? Yeah, I mean, whenever I get an opportunity, like you said, to talk to people and just share my uh, testimony and my, my journey, I feel like life is all about perspective. And, you know, we all believe in something. We all have faith in something. For me, my faith was in Christ that, you know, no matter what the circumstances were, the adversity I faced that he was gonna bring me through the storm. And um, I just had faith throughout the whole process, whatever it may have been. Um, and I just had that, so that's my brand that uh, I'm coming out with now. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. And, uh, you know, I want to wrap up. I, I want to definitely be mindful of your time here. Um, can you talk about the influence that a guy like me has had on your career? Because I know that you might get too shy to say it on camera, but you were talking to me, you know, in, in the locker room about how you always looked up to me and the things, the, the example that I led by. Can you share that with the people? And make sure we zoom in on them for this one, because I really want to get that tear. If you could cry a little bit on it too, that would actually be perfect. Yeah, man. So um, it really started that time you wore that T-shirt. I think that t-shirt that, that you have, what's that t-shirt? It's, it's my, my sack logo. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you walked in the locker room one day and I was like, man, I need to start a brand of what I represent. And then I think you might have asked me for some money to represent your brand. And then, you know, it kind of, I don't, I don't, is this too, the much, kids. too much information? It's for the kids. It's, it's for the kids. No, nah, for real no. though. Uh, serious <laughs> note, man. Uh, this guy's incredible. No. I mean, he has a story like a lot of like mine, uh, undrafted, um, bounce around team to team. All he does is consider a leader, considered a starter, um, a puzzle piece and a glue guy for the locker room. So a lot of respect to you. I appreciate Obviously, you, came man. In, we came in, signed the same day together, and we had a good conversation, man. So nothing but respect for you. Love it, man. Well, I appreciate you for being in the hot seat. I won't take up no more of your time. I owe you 20. Appreciate, appreciate you, brother. Yep. Thank you.